something like you'd see in Louisiana or the southern states. So. so much better than our other school because the other one is really, really poor. We're prepared to work 24 hours a day for the next 70 hours to achieve that aim. Live from the new RO, News 6 Ottawa with Cindy Edwards and the News 6 team. This is Ottawa's News. Good afternoon. The big story today is the weather. A thunderstorm warning in Stormont, Dundas and Glengarry County, as well as Leeds and Grenville, and from Kingston to Cornwall, meaning heavy thunderstorms could strike at any time. A thunderstorm watch right across the rest of the region as well. Meanwhile, heavy rains and strong winds already causing heavy damage in the Ottawa Valley on both sides of the river. Let's go live now to Holly Moore in Pembroke. Holly? Cindy, last night's severe windstorm extremely damaged homes and trees in Petawawa and Westmeath. And Alumet Island on the Quebec side, seen there in the distance off there behind me, was one of the areas that was hardest hit. And today, residents are left trying to pick up the pieces. We, we closed the windows and for the first time coming over here, we uh, decided to run in the basement to, uh, to protect ourselves. Were you scared? Yes, very much so. In fact, my uh, mother was starting off saying the prayers just to, uh, to get us through it. I just... Something like you'd see in Louisiana or the southern states, uh, not, nothing around here has ever been like, like that. It's, it's uh, something my grandfather built and it's, uh, it's hard to lose. Right now, hydro services in Ontario and Quebec are trying to restore power to more than 500 and, sorry, 5,500 homes. And the mayor of Petawawa has announced that he's going to have extra garbage collection sites all next week to, uh, to collect the extra debris. Cindy? All right, thank you, Holly. Let's now go to Aylmer and our own Mike Edgel with the story there. Mike? Cindy, after a series of brief storms and uh, possible microbursts here in Aylmer, some homes along this strip, if we can take a look around, are still without power as we speak. Now, the man who lives in, in this home over to our left uh, witnessed the entire event up close and personal. Well, I, uh, it was around 4.35 o'clock this morning. I heard a great big crack and a, an explosion, and I can see through the window, the living room window, a kind of a, a big, a big uh, sunshine. And uh, since then, we don't have any electricity. Yeah, there's some water there. Some water down there? Yeah, a little bit. Pretty warm outside. You worry about the food? Well, we hope it'll be back on pretty soon. It's starting to melt. Do you have any idea how long it may be off for? No, you never know around here. Hydro-Quebec, sometimes they're good, sometimes not so good. But we're in Witchwood here, and it seems to be the last place they come and fix. Really? From past experiences? Yeah, from past experiences. As long as they come and repair my electricity sometime. You know what? I'm on holidays. I got all week. Okay. And at one point, it was estimated that up to 150,000 homes all the way from uh, West Quebec in this area across uh, in the Utaway all the way uh, to the Laurentians. At this point, uh, Hydro-Quebec officials are saying that uh, basically for residents here to wait patiently and that they will get around to it and that it shouldn't be too long. Cindy. Okay, thank you, Mike. And Canada was also hit hard by the storms. Take a look. Well, I had just brought my dog in from being in the backyard and I sat down to uh, watch television and the wind picked up and it started to really rain hard and uh, it seemed to be concentrated in the corner of our house and trembled the Chesterfield I was sitting on. It was so, the, the noise was so loud I didn't even hear the, the tree break. I thought my house was secure but I thought the front window was, the window in the family room was going to blow out. 
it started to get uh, fairly violent, so I went in the house to uh, just check on my wife to make sure she wasn't near any windows or anything uh, in case we were having a tornado. And in that short period of time, I looked out the window, the tree was down. It was kind of scary. And the city of Canada arrived and they removed the trees off the cars. And uh, they really worked hard too. Thunderstorm watches or warnings remain in effect for Ottawa, the Valley, Eastern Ontario and the St. Lawrence Seaway, as well as the Outaway and the Pontiac. Right now we have isolated showers. The temperature is sitting at 24 degrees. Winds are from the southwest at 13 kilometers an hour and there's a 60% chance of more rain. I'll have your full weather forecast a little later. And we'll have the latest on this big weather story on New 6 Ottawa tonight at 6 o'clock.